मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू साइंस क्लास टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन चैप्टर फोर ऑफ क्लास फोर एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ चैप्टर फोर इज रिप्रोडक्शन इन एनिमल्स नाउ के इट्स टेल मी वॉट इज रिप्रोडक्शन सो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू द प्रोसेस बाय विच लिविंग बींग्स प्रोड्यूस यंग वंस ऑफ देअर काइंड इज नोन एज रिप्रोडक्शन नाउ के इट्स आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू एनिमल्स रिप्रोड्यूस बाय टू वेज first is by laying eggs and second is by giving birth to their young ones now tell me how many ways are there there are two ways two ways by giving birth to their young ones and by laying eggs now animals like birds insects reptiles fishes and amphibians they lay eggs what are amphibians yes the animal that can live in both water and on land are called amphibians the examples are frog and toads now next topic is their birds how the birds reproduce so as i told you birds reproduce by laying eggs so see on the board here is a picture of egg see in this egg different parts are there the outer covering of the egg is quite hard so this layer is called shell in the shell there are the inner part is divided into two parts the white portion is albumin and the yellow portion is yolk okay and so see here this is chalaza so what is chalaza yolk is attached to the structure by this chalaza okay kids so now the albumin protects the growing embryo and yolk is its food the young bird will only develop if the egg is kept warm when the mothers kept the egg warm then only the the egg will the, the baby bird will develop in the egg for this reason the bird sits on the egg to keep it warm this is known as incubation what we call that process the process is incubation so after some time the hard shell breaks and the baby bird comes out of it and this is called hatching this process is called hatching these newborn birds of often have no feathers on their bodies they are fed until they learn how to fly their mothers fed them until they learn how to fly so now next is life cycle of a bird life cycle of a bird is there on the board see first picture is of parent bird and the bird lay eggs see you can see in this picture the mother bird is sitting on the egg so this process she is sitting on the egg and she is she is keeping the egg warm so this process is called incubation and after some time the egg will hatch and the baby bird came out from this this process is called hatching see next the picture is of baby bird and then after some time this baby bird grow up and then the bird fly they learn how to fly and how to feed themselves next is the process life cycle of a grasshopper see all the insects like butterflies grasshoppers cockroaches and house flies lay eggs what they do they lay eggs how they reproduce by laying eggs after hatching of the egg the baby undergoes many changes in its structure this change is known as metamorphosis cockroaches and grasshopper lay eggs which hatch into small babies called nymph see the structure here life cycle is given it, here it is egg egg is here and when the egg hatch this nymph will come out from the egg a nymph look like the parent insect it is small in size but it look like with it, it resembles with its parents 
Next, during development, the nymph sheds its skin several times. This process is called molting. After molting, several times it becomes an adult. So, butterflies and houseflies also reproduce by laying eggs, which hatch into small worms. This worm is called larva. I hope till here everything is clear, clear to you. Next, we will discuss in next video. In the previ previous video, we have discussed about butterflies and houseflies. They reproduce by laying eggs, which hatch into small worms called larva. This is called larva. This is larva. See, it does not resemble, this larva does not resemble with butterfly. The larva of a butterfly is called a caterpillar. Larva of a butterfly is called a caterpillar. And the larva of a housefly is called maggots. The larva feeds on green leaves and become very plump and sluggish. It stops eating after some time and covers itself in a hard case called cocoon. See, it's covered. This larva covers himself in a hard coat called cocoon. This is made from thread which comes out of the larva's body. The larva transforms into pupa. Then it transforms into this larva transforms into pupa. The pupa undergoes molting many times inside the cocoon. After a few weeks, the cocoon splits open and the adult insect emerges out of it. And the butterfly comes out of it. Now, the next topic is reptiles. Lizards, turtles, snakes and crocodiles reproduce by laying eggs in holes in the ground. Some of the mother animals go away after laying eggs. They didn't take care of their eggs. And, and many of these eggs, what happened then? Then many of these eggs are eaten by other animals. And only some hatch to grow into adult. The number of eggs produced by such animals is very large to ensure that at least some of the eggs survive to grow into adults. The warmth required by these eggs for hatching is provided by the heat of the sun. From where they got the heat? They got the heat from the sun. Crocodiles make a nest for their eggs on the ground. Where they make nest for their eggs? On the ground. When the eggs hatch, they carry their young ones to the water and look after them until they can feed themselves. Now other animals, animals like frogs and fishes lay eggs in water. Where they lay eggs? They lay, lay eggs in the water. A fish lay thousands of eggs. In one time a fish lay thousands of eggs. But only few of them grew, grow into baby fishes. Big fishes eat many of these eggs and baby fishes. A frog lay eggs that develop into small tadpoles. See, this is the life cycle of a frog. You can see here, so many eggs are here. Well, see, the eggs grow into a tadpole. And after that, after a few times, the, see, legs, legs are coming out from the tadpole. A tadpole does not resemble the parent and rather look like a small fish with a tail. After feeding on palm weeds for a few weeks, the tadpole gradually changes into an adult frog and they lose the tail. They change into an adult frog and they lose the tail. Now the next topic is animals that give birth to babies. Mammals. Animals that give birth to young ones are called mammals. They have hair on their bodies. They are having hairs on their bodies and feed their young ones on their milk. This group of animals include dogs, cats, monkeys, tigers and cows. 
Human beings are also mammals. You know this thing that human beings are also mammals. Whales and dolphins live in water and have hairless bodies. Bats fly in the air but reproduce by giving birth to young ones. Both of these are also mammals. Mammals take care of their babies for a long time. The young ones develop inside the mother body. After giving birth, usually the mother cares for them by feeding, cleaning, keeping warm and protecting them. The mother also teaches them how to find their food and eventually to live on their own. Few animals have a pouch attached to their bodies. These animals use these pouches for carrying their babies. Such animals are, for example, kangaroos, koalas and opossums. Next topic is, on next page, parental care. Birds and mammals take care of their babies for a longer time than other animals. Birds build nests for their eggs. The birds that hatch, the baby bird that hatch have no feathers. So the parent birds keep them warm and safe and also get food for them. They look after their young ones until they are old enough to fly away. Animals like dogs, cats, lions, etc. also take care of their young ones just as your parents look after you. Your parents are also look after you. For example, kangaroos have a body pouch in which they carry their young ones until they grow up and learn to feed themselves. However, this type of care is not seen in animals like fishes, lizards, turtles. They just ensure that the eggs are laid in a safe place and then leave. So now quickly we, uh, we just recall what we have read in this chapter. First is living things produce young ones of their own kind. Second, some animal lay eggs and other give birth to their young ones. Birds, insects, reptiles and other animals like fishes and frogs lay eggs. Mammals give birth to young ones. Among animals, birds and mammals give more parental care than other animals. I hope this chapter is clear to everyone. PDF we will send you. You will just fill your book from that PDF. Thank you.